So this is our video lessons in English for quarter 2, week 2. The reference that I am using, Rainbows in English for this lesson can be found on page 68. Your teacher, Ray D. Montessori. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to use definitions as context clues. Prepare the following, ball pen and paper. This is a sample worksheet paper that you are going to use. For today's lesson, we will be learning about definitions and context clues. Let us first know the context clues. They are the words or phrases that help you understand a word that is not familiar to you. When we say definition, it is a kind of context clue. It explicitly defines or describes the meaning of the difficult word. Example, we have here following sentences. We are going to read and identify the meaning of the highlighted word in each sentence. In the first sentence, our context clue is the word abacus. And in the underlined words, this is our definition. So let's try to read. The abacus, accounting frame used in China and Japan, came long before the calculator. So our second sentence, the highlighted word in here is rhinoceros and our definition the underlined words let's read a rhinoceros a large plant eating three third mammal from africa and asia has one or two horns on the snout and thick height so that is how we are going to identify the context clues and our definitions now let's answer use a paper copy and answer this activity can be found on page 68 always remember our context clues and definition you have to read the instructions carefully answer from one up to five now let's learn a new topic making a title in topic form based on big idea this lesson can be found on page 69 let's read the following paragraph what is its main idea in what sentence is the main idea stated? Discussions. So this is our sample paragraph. The kanyao is a way of expressing thanksgiving on many occasions. This is practiced by Ifugaos, Muntoks, and Kalinyas up in the mountains in the northern Luzon. It is celebrated during important events such as victory, wedding, or harvest. The kanyao is also held on the blessing of a new rice terrace. The main idea is expressed in the first sentence. The most appropriate title for the paragraph given above is The Kanyao as a way of thanksgiving. So this is now our main idea. For your test 2, use a paper, copy and answer. This activity can be found on page 69. Please read the instructions carefully. You have to answer 1 up to 2. For your test 3, use a paper, copy the paragraph cursively before answering. Derive a title based on the big idea of the paragraph. Write your title on the given space. This activity can be found on page 70. Always remember, class, please. Keep your worksheets and pass it on the next submission every Monday. Video lesson for English has ended. Thank you for listening. God bless and goodbye.